So, this is Rainbow Dash 7X. And just real quick, wow, yeah, you cannot see the display. This is the old fire alarm annunciator that came from my school. And um, it was broken because there's something wrong with it and it never silences. If you push acknowledge, it does not silence. It just, so pretty much it's beeping like beep, beep, beep. And if you push, if you push silence, it just turns to a constant tone and breaks your eardrums. Anyway. I got this annunciator quite a while ago, and I'm just making a video of it, because why not? Because it's something interesting. When you first power it up, you're probably not able to see it, but it just shows the normal screen. It's the system normal. It takes it a, quite a while to detect that the panel is not detect, uh, panel is not hooked up. Now, once it, once it shows that, I'm going to show you something else. So it's a pretty cool annunciator. It is. It it's not to control the system. It's to monitor only. You have back and next slash acknowledge. That's kind of like the D twelve fifty seven keypad, by Bosch. So yeah, that it's pretty much just a monitor only annunciator. And I've actually disabled the beeper using the beep, the dip switches in the back, because otherwise it's really annoying. But yep, now only now does it show trouble. Something I like about it, it doesn't keep the normal light on. It's not AC power, it's normal. That means it's okay. If the green light is on, nothing's wrong. So, if it were in an alarm condition, normal would turn off and red would turn on. Red alarm and light would come on. Probably can't read it, but it says January 1st, 1024950, so it's counting up time. It says trouble, er, what the heck? Trouble, local supervisory, fi fire panel primary. So if I push next slash acknowledge, it goes back to normal screen, the date and time. And if I push it one more time, it shows that again. And that's as far as it gets. However, I can actually do something here. I'm going to set down my iPod so I can do this, because it's very hard to do. I'm just flipping the enunciator over. Okay, that was difficult. If I open the back, there's dip switches in there. Ah! I'm going to drop my screwdriver. All right. And see the fourth dip switch right here. So I push that. Sets it to a program mode. So well, now it says date and time and stuff. It shows a little symbol up there. System programming. Set switch four of S1 to the off position. So now if I follow its instructions. Switch four. Of S1. This is S1, the dip switch thing. The off position. It says the following. I'm just kidding, it does not say the following. It says the date and time and stuff in that little symbol, the like swirly symbol thing. Then enable key switch, connect cable, and start download. And yeah, that's pretty much the only stuff I can do with it. However, if I power it up with that dip switch enable, like on, it actually resets it to a default database. So yeah, just a quick little video of this enunciator, because why not?